Well, hello and welcome to chapter 47, Fact Beyond Emotion. <laughs> uh, a couple of things just before we start about the name. Uh, first of all, I censored it when I was writing the name. That So, yeah, I usually write this stuff in advance. <laughs> Unless I don't know what I'm going to name the episode. And... Um, I, I was trying to be so thorough and, you know, just check out uh, what's the best way to do it. I googled, and it's on my screen right now, censored fuck. <laughs> and in the end, I came up with what you can see. <laughs> uh, the other thing is I wanted to do a TM trademark, but I don't know if you can do them willy-nilly. You have to actually patent the trademark but it's not even mine it's an expression used by Ami Reza <laughs> but yeah welcome to one of the most unremarkable weeks in my life well, that, that's to be fair that's not true I watched a lot of stuff I finished Black Monday and I actually read uh, written I actually wrote the uh, next episode of TGTBTI about should I did I say it already what it's going to be about? I don't know, but if I haven't, I'm not going to say it now. Just watch the video. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there is that. Um, What else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's it. I, I haven't done much else. Oh, the drink. Remember... This is kind of old, but I brought it back recently. Those powders that I like to call radioactive powders that are, well, they're not very good and they taste radioactive. Well, there is a new flavor of them. Let me bring the packaging and just read the packaging for you. It's lemon flavored. It's not very good, to be honest. The orange and the sour cherry ones are much better. But it's lemon flavored instant drink. And uh, that's it. Do not store in a metal container. That, that should give you all you need to know about what is in it. <laughs> I think it's because of the um, citric acid and not because of the. Um, damn, there's a car going out outside. But yeah, it's not good, but yeah, the, the, I like to call them uh, radioactive. <laughs> they kind of are the flavored instant drink. Uh, let me take a sip right now. I'm, I'm extremely hungry. I woke up at around 10, and it's around 2 a.m. now, so yeah, another one of those weird recording times, but yeah. Mm. Radioactive. Anyways, with that out of the way, as I said, this week wasn't very productive. <laughs> um, I had an, a, a conversation right after I recorded uh, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood the last week episode, I had a five-hour conversation with MB, who, as you may have known, played a big role last season. <laughs> she had two whole uh, chapters for her. And I had actually a really good talk. And aside from that, yeah, I just watched a bunch of TV shows, watched a bunch of YouTube. I found Jose which is a great YouTuber. Uh, he does both these um, semi-political videos about the right, which is always good to dunk on. And um, then does this really in-depth uh, retrospectives of sitcoms. I watched the one he did for Dinosaurs, um, Malcolm in the Middle, Married with Children, and The Cosby Show. Oh, and first Prince of Blair. And it's really good. He did it really good. 
Uh, after watching that, I can sort of understand why a lot of people probably didn't like my American Gods one. <laughs> what he did in an hour and 30 minutes, it took me an hour and 40 minutes, and I didn't even do it as good as he did. <laughs> but yeah, the script I actually have written for the next episode, I think it's a more concise. It's a third of the length of the one for American Gods. For the American Gods one was 22 pages, this one is 6. And uh, I think it's going to be more fun too. I have a lot of visual gags and a bunch of jokes. Because if I'm not funny, I'm going to force it. I actually started watching Only Murders in the Building, which was really good. I don't know why I'm surprised. I mean, it's Steve Martin and Martin Short. I love them. But it was really good. Like, a part of me wanted it to be like a cheesy, stupid thing. But no, it was like extremely good. And it was about podcasts too, so you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So that that was my week basically. Not not much else happened. Um Oh about the title. I wanted to talk about what is fucked beyond emotion. Uh it's a thing Ami Reza told me. Ami Reza I think all of you know if you don't the first special chapter on this podcast is Ami Reza the Glamour Cat and you can hear him talk. And uh, it's between season two and season three. And he's also the co-host of Yasp, which, I mean, it has more listeners than this, so you can you can guess. <laughs> but yeah, fucked beyond emotion. Uh, it's it's when you don't feel anything. You just spend the whole day in bed, and there is no reason for you to be sad, which isn't for me. I'm not, I I have no reason to be sad or depressed. But something feels off. Like it it's not right, but you don't know what is not right. It's an odd feeling. But yeah, fucked beyond emotion I think is a good description of it. Yeah, he says it's unconsciously, but you know when, as we got rec- uh, near the recording, I, I came to record this. I don't know, I can guess a lot of bad stuff sort of started seeping because I wanted something to talk about, I guess. I didn't want to be like, yeah, nothing happened, goodbye. Oh, let me... I started doing something, I think I've talked about it in the Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, but... I started writing down stuff too, uh, because I watched that uh, documentary about Gilda Radner, Love Gilda, and there was something about the written word that really spoke to me. The documentary as a whole just spoke to me, it it was really heartbreaking. But that aside, uh, there was something about writing, so I started writing, and I written some stuff in there about how I feel like let's just write in that moment that I feel it and see how it goes and the last one was for September 7th and it's called Amiraza calls it fucked beyond emotion I don't have any plans for anyone to actually read these at least not at the moment, like when I'm old, probably I read it and remember what I felt like when I was 24, when I'm writing my memoir. <laughs> just just, just so you know the depths that my brain is fucked, at the end of this whole thing about I'm not okay, I've written a tender tale of Sweeney Todd. Because I was listening to the soundtrack from Sweeney Todd. Not the movie. The uh, Broadway show. 
I should look for the soundtrack that has George Hearn because the one I have has Len Carew, but I want one with uh, George Hearn. Uh, I do think he's the superior Sweeney. I should keep that because I'm I'm hoping. Though it might not be this year. Uh, I might do it next year, but for October, October, the month of the Halloween. I was thinking of doing uh, an episode about Sweeney Todd, the stage recording, and talk about why I think removing the humor from the stage recording uh, is really losing the soul of it, because the horror of Sweeney Todd is the humor of it. But, you know, pretentious stuff aside, this past uh, week, uh, as we got closer to the recording, as I said, I s- let some thoughts slip in, step in, and uh, uh, step in, and uh, uh, I don't know. The fact that I'm even doing this, still, I ha- I'm not sure. There is sort of a sort of a misguided attempt, even though I in the notes i wrote that it feels good i i've been talking for three full seasons each of them is around five hours so i have more than 15 hours of bullshit on the internet (laughs) and it's a good detailed view of my weekly life and some of my thoughts and emotions and even though it probably not a lot of people care about it. I do. It makes me feel better. So yeah, there is that. Then there is the. Um, but why do I? People do go back and listen to some of them. Like relocation depression is one of the um, sleepers. <laughs> the uh, a lot of people listen to that relocation depression. It's chapter thirteen. It's all the way in season one. So, you can guess. <laughs> it was in the middle of my move from my mother's house to my father's. Holy shit, at this point, it's, I think, about a year ago. Yeah, it probably is. Let me see when Relocation Depression came out. I'm sorry, but it's it feels so odd if that's like a year ago. <laughs> And chapter 13 came out in, oh no, it's not, it came out in October 2nd, yeah, sometime. Uh, Today is September 10th, and on September 11th last year, I did uh, chapter 10, Cradle Will Rock, (laughs) which was a good movie. I might do a video on that too, about art and politics, because... Why not? Even though I hate politics. So yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know why am I doing this. I'm persistent. That that's all. <laughs> My hope is that if I one day live around and have a circle of friends who is not um, exclusively Persian-speaking Iranians, I might have a better chance. But, you know, hope. What a silly notion. <sighs> yeah. Aside from that, the whole idea that I'm, I haven't done anything is weighing heavy on me because I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I'm just not doing it. For one reason or the other. I can film... I can start working on my movie. I can make an eye crafter because it's been months since I made one. But yeah, it, it, it feels like I can't. <sighs> Fuck me, right? <laughs> The 
the good news is uh, some of my friends are livi leaving Iran, so at least they're, they're gonna be okay, as far as I I know. So yeah, that's good. Oh. And um, God, that tastes bad. It tastes like the orange one and the sour cherry one also taste artificial, but. This lemon one is just extremely artificial. Oh, by the way, one thing a friend of mine, I'm, I'm not going to name him. Why not? He's not going to listen to this. Kami upset that uh, kind of I've been going over in my head. He said I talk too slow. And I know I do. This uh, audio journal is just me. Being in a very monotone voice, talking very, very slow. But um, it sort of, I don't know, it kind of bothered me. <laughs> uh, not that it bothered me because he was absolutely right. And I don't have any idea how can I remedy that. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to talk faster and more coherent, but you know, I, I. It's my second language. I know it's uh, my insistence on talking in English that is the problem, but you know, I don't know what I can do. I think I've uh, improved noticeably because the very first chapter of The Last Thought, the beginning, I think it was called The Beginning. Let me check it out. The Beginning. Yes. Go. Uh, I talk super slow. Like extremely slow. Excruciatingly slow. But now I think I'm moving at a faster pace. We're marching to a faster pace. But... The fact that it bothered me, it, because I, he's 100% right, and I don't know what else I can do, at least while I'm in Iran, because I think if I leave Iran and I start to just remove the Persian language as one of the constants in my life, I can probably improve, but at least at the moment I don't know what I can do. What is your thoughts? Do you think I talk too slowly or too fast? Let me know in the comments below or send me an email on contact acamps hash 88. Why do I keep saying hash the hash? Hash the hash is 88 in Persian, but you know, because it's a contact acamps 88 at gmail.com. <laughs> or send me a message on Anchor. I haven't had a lot of them. But I would love to l hear from you. Just tell me, give me some sort of motivation. Like, did you find anything useful in my ramblings? Or is there anything you want me to talk about? I thought there is, but you know. Just let me know. I want to know. I want to know your thoughts. I have more than a minute left. God damn. Time moves slow when you have nothing to talk about because you haven't done anything. Uh, I'm feeling a bit more at peace with myself though. Damn, should I have talked about that about instead of fucked beyond emotion? I don't know. I think that my peace is temporary because as I said, I feel like something is wrong and I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop and I feel like a right piece of shit again but for the moment I'm a little bit at peace with myself this past week a good f past week past year a good thing was I finally admitted to myself that I love musicals I know it's not that big, but it's a really big thing for me. Oh, I think I talked about it in the last episode, but watch Swedish Dicks too. It's really fun. Yeah, and, uh, well, with that said, don't forget to send me a message on Anchor. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share this 
audio journal please let more people hear it and i hope to see you all next week hopefully i have more to talk about <laughs>